Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at Essentials X. In the upcoming videos, we are going to fully discuss everything that Essentials X has to offer. We will go through all the modules, and in this video, we will look at anti build. I have my 1.19.2 paper server running, and I also have Essentials X, the anti build, lock perms, and also Vault installed. If you don't have your own server running yet, I will link a video in the description that will show you how you can set up your own paper server. So my server is running. I currently have two clients ready to connect. One of them I'm going to make operator and the other one I'm going to leave in the default group. So the one on the right is the one that is just a normal player and the one on the left is going to be the one that is operator. So let's first of all make myself operator. I'm going to say OP Tabax Academy. In my case, I'm already operator, but you should do this first. Otherwise, you're not able to open up the lock perms editor. Now that we are admin on this account, I'm going to say LP editor and then click on the link to open it up in my browser. I'm going to click on the command to trust the editor and then paste that in the chat over here. And as you can see, we now are able to make our changes. Looking at the information for anti build, it says this adds permissions to your server that gives you fine control over which players can build, interact with blocks or craft on your server. If you're unfamiliar with Essentials X, I think it has over 300 commands. The Essentials X plugin is required, and then there are several modules you can see over here that are optional, NT Build being one of them. Let's say you're using Bungie Cord and you have your own spawn server or where people all come together as a hub, and then they can teleport to different kind of servers or game modes. Inside of that hub, you probably don't want people to build anything or destroy anything. You could use NT Build to just completely block people from messing with your spawn point or if you for example have a adventure map you only want to allow people to place or break certain types of blocks so they don't mess with the full map but they can still follow the path that you created for them you could also use anti build and configure it in a way that they are only allowed to do exactly what they need to finish the adventure map or of course if you're in a survival map or you have some sort of custom scenario you could still go into the configuration and use anti build to configure it exactly how you want to for your server for me currently i cannot get the permissions to work and also using the wildcards as explained over here doesn't seem to be working for me i might be doing something wrong or there might be some information that i missed if there was an issue on my end and not on the server or plugin end i will update the video description to tell you how you can actually get this working so here on the right, this is my player that is just a normal player. You can see that if we try to do anything, breaking or interacting with anything, it will just not allow it because we have anti build installed. So we need to mess with the permissions and also with the configurations to figure out how we want to configure it for our server. Looking at the wiki, you can see that there is a blacklist, which we can find in the config settings. We will look at this later on. Here you can prevent players from placing blocks, using blocks, breaking blocks or even what kind of blocks should be pushed by pistons we will look at this in a little bit once you set up that list by using any of these permissions you can then also exempt certain players or certain groups from those limits it really depends on what kind of server you have and how you're trying to set it up so let's first of all add this global opt-out permission to our default group going back to lock perms we're going to go to group select our default group and then at the bottom we can add a permission we already have it copied, so we can just paste it. You can also go through the list and find the one that you need over there. Click on the one we need. Then we add it to our list. And then we need to click apply in the top right to actually apply it to our server. We can see here on the left, there's one addition, essentials.build is now true. So if I go back to my player, which is not an operator, you can see that I'm now able to place blocks. What we can then do is go into our plugins folder go to essentials and then open up the config.yml. If we then search for anti build, we can then find the anti build section. And here we have our list that does placement, usage, break, piston, and even dispenser. On the placement by default, it has lava, TNT, and also lava bucket. So if we try to place a TNT, you can see we are still not able to place TNT because it's in the list. Let's say we do want to grant permission to place TNT. We just remove that. Make sure if there are several that it's still divided by a comma. Let's save the file. Then on our admin account, we can do an essentials reload. And that should reload our config. You can see that we are now able to place TNT. And also on the left, you can see that on our admin account, we get 
a name and also the location where this is placed. The configuration will be different depending on what kind of server or what kind of zone you're trying to set up. I will link to this website in the description. Here you can find also the numerical IDs. This will also work. So for example, if I search for 12, this is sent. So instead of having to use all the names and figuring out all the names and typing this all out, as you can see here, you can also just use the numerical IDs, which will be way quicker than typing out all the long names. We are not able to place any send at the moment. We can also exclude people from that list by giving them a permission. If I go to users and then to Ted Pommes, we can see here, we can do essentials.protect and then exempt placement, exempt usage or exempt break. Let's add all three of these to my account or to my player. Click apply to apply it to our server. Now, as you can see, we are able to play sand, break sand. I don't know how we would use the sand, but we are able because we added that exemption. So you can set a global setting for the server and then have individual people, either moderators or admins, or maybe you want to offer something as a VIP group through Tabex. You could still do that by adding the exemption rules to either the player directly or to the group that the player is a part of. Let's say you do want to make a VIP group. You can just create a new group over here. You probably want to set the weights. Since this is not a lock perms tutorial, I will skip that for now. So let's add another group. You could then add the exemption rules or the permissions that you want to this group. And then later on use Tabex to move a player to that group once they made a payment. Just make sure you don't make it unfair for the other people. Then you're just killing your server. Back at the configuration, you can see alert is on lava, TNT, and lava bucket. We can also set this on use, same as below. If you want to add several, same as below, just use a comma to separate them. But if I place some TNT, I get a message on my admin or OP account. To demonstrate this again, if I place some TNT, you can see on the left that it's saying TNT placed and also the location of where the player is standing. I can just add this permission to the player. So if I go to Ted Pommes, add the permission, not twice, let's do it once, I think that's enough, and then apply it to the server. Now, if I place some TNT, you can see that it doesn't trigger on the left anymore. And let's say if you have a moderator group or an admin group or someone that is helping you keep an eye on the server, you can give them the protect.alerts permission, and this will also give them the alerts when someone places any of the items that are in the list. So once again, you can specify those over here and also when they should trigger. That should be most of the information you need for most use cases. Unfortunately, I cannot specify it per group with the permissions at the moment. I'll quickly show you what I did. My user itself doesn't have the permission to build, so it doesn't have the essentials.build. So if I add myself to the VIP group, so let's go here myself to VIP, remove myself from the default group and click on apply. You can see here that I also added permissions to break, craft, drop, interact, pick up and place 12, which once again is sent. I read down here, interacting. When a user tries to place a block, they will be interacting with the block they will try to place it on. So if a player tries to place a block on of dirt on sand, they will need both the interaction permission for sand and the placement permission for dirt. So I also read that and I, as you saw earlier, I also gave myself the permission to interact. So technically, I think I should now be able to place sand on sand because I can interact with sand and I can place sand, select the sand and try to place it on the sand. It still gives me that, it still gives me the message that I'm not allowed to place it. I'm not sure if this is a plugin issue, a server issue, or a TED issue. So I, I don't know if I did anything wrong or there's a permission or something that I read over, but looking at the wiki, I cannot figure out what the issue is. If I do figure it out, I will update the description and tell you where you can find the information that will help you. Once this works, there's even more flexibility that you can do. You could then create different groups with different permissions and tell exactly what that group can and cannot do. Currently, you can only use the global opt-out or use the blacklist. That is still pretty flexible, but not as much flexibility as being able to exactly tell what people can and cannot do using the permissions. I still wanted to cover this module and just start from the top down. 
So hopefully this is still helpful and will help some people depending on what kind of situation or server they have. Hopefully this was still helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tebex store.